up, y'all? It's Chichi Birch, and you're watching 210 Culture. Listen. Listen. What's up, guys? I'm G, so welcome to another episode of Culture Creation, episode 23 for those keep me counting at home. And um, today we're out here over in the Leon Valley area for a special reason. We're here for Miga's Cafe. So, um, Miga's Cafe is unique to more Mex central Mexico. So we're gonna have some very interesting food here. Um, I'm very excited, I'm very hungry. I do apologize for the vlog style footage close up of me. I am rolling solo today. So hopefully you guys are hungry and let's check this out, shall we? Listen. What's up guys? So the food got here and um, because I'm one person right now, Donna's not here with us today, <laughs> I'm going to jump behind the camera but I'm going to have these wonderful lovely people here explain exactly what we're eating so you guys know what I'm about to bunch into. So um, let's go, shall we? My name is Fabiana. I am the representative or spokeswoman of Amiga Cafe. So we do have here, we do have the Corazon Sotes that is part of the whole, the whole reason that why we are here. So I'm gonna represent from top, we're gonna go like in line of how we, we served it. So the first item that we do have right here is the sope. And the sope, this one is in, just a sencillo. So it doesn't have any um, any carne. So it's just the um, the beans. The, what it is, it looks like a little dish. So it has crema fresca, queso fresco, and cilantro. Me, that uh, you know, I hang out around with Roy too much. So the South Side is coming out of me. So what I see here is I see a taco. So I'm gonna just fold this up real quick and um, cheers. Shout out to Emigos. You can still get this with meat on it if you want. They just brought it to me and showed me that they can customize it to the way you're liking it. And then we're gonna go ahead to this one. This one's one of the very, um, that you're probably, you've heard it, but you're not gonna get it as good as it is. It's very original here. It's the costillas de puerco. And the salsa is very special made here. Uh, everything is made in house, the beans as well. And the rice has a very taste feeling, like a very home style, like granny style. Um, and everything is served with a with a salad. Um, it's nice and salsa -y. And cheers. Yes. You guys have a beer? Yeah. We don't have it. So that is delicious. Um, it's a little bit spicier than the salad yeah. puerco. Yeah. Just because the green chili. And this one's a little bit hotter. You can even see the, the seeds in there. That's really good. So. And then we have this special dish right here that Gerardo's gonna give you a little bit of information on. So here you go. Hello, my name is Gerardo, and this is asado de puerco. This is uh, made up from the chile guajillo, and it comes with rice and beans and the salad. I'm gonna get a chip to munch on this. And um, I know it's red, 
It looks like it's really hot, but... It's not. It's delicious. These are the enchiladas de mole. Uh, we make the mole here, so it's really good. And it comes with the rice and beans and the salad. So, here. You see the chicken there? And... That mole is good. Um, it's really good. But the queso, I've never had mole enchiladas. This is the first time I've had mole enchiladas, and it's really good. Uh, this one right here is the caldo de res. So we make them fresh every day, and it's really, really good. So you should come and try it. All the ingredients in there. Everything. So <laughs> the. The broth is amazing, especially with 100 degree weather outside. Okay, and the menudo, we have right here the menudo, so we also make them fresh every day. And this is really, really good, so you should come and try it. You're going to love it. Mm. Okay. Um, it's seasoned just right. Um, I don't really eat menudo, but I will take another bite of this because it's that good. I think I like menudo now. So. Hola, mi nombre es Maria. Bueno, yo no voy a hablar español. Este que está aquí es guarache. Está hecho en masa. Viene con frijol, queso fresco mexicano, crema, aguacate, lechuga, tomate. Cheers. Now there's a corn tortilla that they use at the bottom and whew, takes me back. That is delicious. Um, but Los nachos de bean and cheese con crema y jalapeños. Es jalapeños? I love me some nachos. So you know. I have your nachos there. And um, son las salsitas, son todas son hechos a homemade. Mm -hmm. y las aguas y las aguas también tengo de Jamaica o chate limonazo homemade también mm -hmm. um, so you know okay. pretty good That's a nice bite and um, of course we have mole enchiladas here too we're bringing back in um, so it's really good red sauce now jumping to the green sauce here. So, cheers. I would say the red sauce is hotter, so we're looking for more heat, red. But I love green salt sauce, so the green one's mine. Yes. So, that being said, I have some work to do here, so I'll catch you guys right after this. Now you see us here at Amiga Cafe. Yay. And remember, the chips are free. What is up, guys? So I am full, and that was delicious. Uh, so hopefully you guys come out as well and try Mexican food and not Tex-Mex food. Um, it's a good pop in your mouth. Now, there is other items as well um, that they have, which if you watch the KSAT 12 version that they put out, uh, or the KSAT 12 did at the store, uh, they have some different items as well. So um, with that being said, it's time for me to go. I'm about to go take a nap. So I'm G, and for Culture Creations, remember, 210 Culture, bringing the best of 210 Nation. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>